readers. Yesterday, you used your notebook to do some jotting in preparation for your book talk, and you did some rehearsal of part of your book. Take a moment to reflect and read through your outline and think, how did it go? And what did you try talking about? Today, I want to teach you that when readers share great books, one thing they do is choose excerpts that are especially powerful and emblematic, and they perform and unpack those parts so others can appreciate them too. Doing this helps their audience appreciate exactly what makes their beloved books great. Watch me as I try this work with pride and join me in trying to interpret and explain an excerpt in a way that would entice readers. Well, I'm particularly drawn to the poems in this novel. And this one poem I felt really connected to. It gives an intimate perspective of not only Zuri, but her community. I want to perform it in a way that shows this insight and power that I'm drawn to when I read it. Well, it seems to me that first I might try to read it aloud. Will you watch how I read this? Listen how I read this and notice how I'm not just reading. I'm trying to perform it. Girls in the Hood Step onto my block and walk these jagged broken streets and sidewalk cracks like rickety bridges across our backs to the end of rainbows reflecting off broken glass where the pot of gold is way on the other side of this world. So we hood girls shout our pain into a megaphone wind hoping that it will carry our dreams to skyscraping rooftops with radio towers broadcasting our tongue clicking, smack talking, neck rolling, hip swaying, finger snapping, sass through telephone wire, jump ropes while we skip to the beat of our own songs and count on the seconds, minutes, hours, days, until we break past these invisible walls where glass ceilings are so high we only look up and never scratch the surface with airbrushed and gel-tipped manicured nails, hoping that maybe the stars will reach down instead and want to touch us too. What did you notice? How did I try to perform this poem? Readers, it's not enough to perform the part, though. I also have to interpret, and I want to do it in a way that calls attention to the author's language, literary craft, and meaning. So I love the line where it says, So we hood girls shout our pain in tongue-clicking, smack-talking, neck-rolling, hip-swaying, finger-snapping. And that is why I use some quick pacing here to emphasize those descriptors. And I also found myself changing my tone of voice to be a bit more serious when I read the line, shout our pain. Why is that important? Well, the way Zuri describes herself and her friends is reflective of the deep appreciation she has for her culture. Ibi Zobai brings out the hidden beauty of this place and its people. There is so much authenticity and appreciation for Brooklyn in this part. Readers, did you notice how I didn't just turn to any random page in my novel and say, this is a good part, I really enjoyed it. I looked back across my novel at places where I'd stopped to jot on a post-it or flagged a particular page or section. Then I thought, what makes this part so powerful? I read the part aloud, trying to perform it, and then I unpacked this part of the story by paying attention to words, phrases, and sentences that felt significant and symbolic. Let's give you a chance to try this. 
First, I want you to choose a small excerpt from your novel that is meaningful. Think about why that part is important and what you might want to bring out in a performance. Take a few minutes to do this work and pause the video while you're um, choosing a part and reflecting on that. Now I want you to perform that part, talking a bit about its meaning. As you're doing this, don't forget to refer to our chart that readers don't just read, they perform. Readers, as you go off to continue to prepare for your book slams, will you spend a little time seeking parts of your books that feel powerful and emblematic? Revisit and explore the parts of the text that have moved you, paying attention to the ways the author seems to accentuate particular aspects of a story. You'll be able to provide insights that attract potential readers to exactly why your book matters in the world. Try to use your time today to really get the parts of your talk figured out, including any part of the book that you'll be sharing. Okay, readers, off you go.